right, so Rob here, ScrappyDo.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to control which shapes will actually be cut. Now there's three ways to control uh, whether or not a shape is going to be cut or ignored uh, inside your little drawing area here, and uh, we'll, we'll sort of go through each of these individually. Okay, so if you are interested in following along with this file, uh, we'll put a download link uh, in the description, and it is called Selecting What to Cut. Uh, and you should be able to go ahead and open it up and bring it into your own Sign Master uh, software. Okay, so uh, the, the first way uh, you know, that we're going to talk about option one anyway, uh, if no shapes are selected, okay, so I don't have anything selected, and I go up here to cut or go up here to the to the send a cutter uh, message here, and you can see that all the shapes will will cut out, right? So that that's everything. So uh, how are we able to select uh, individual things? Well, let's go ahead and, and test that out, right? So we have it where we can go ahead and if we select one item, we can go ahead and select it and then go up here, send the cutter. Now you can see only the sky cut will be cut, right? Um, what if I want the sky cut in the air? Well, let me go ahead and select both of those and go ahead and send the cutter. And look, both of those are selected. So it totally ignored uh, all the other shapes that are on the drawing area and just gave us the ones that we selected. Now, obviously, a more uh, you know common way or common practice way to select objects mm -hmm. is based upon selecting objects of the same color. And uh, that can be under the Edit menu. And if we go down to Select By and then Color, uh, we'll see this little window up here. But uh, an even shorter way is just to just hit the S button uh, with, without anything selected or anything. Uh, just go ahead and hit it, and that same window will appear. So if I were to, let's go ahead and select the red ones, right? Hit OK. And you'll see that the selection box is now over those items. Um, those are now selected. And now I can go up here to the Cut, Send to Cutter. And you'll see that all of the red items are now in the preview window. So kind of cool. All right now, along the same lines of the selecting by color, uh, there's also the select by shape. Um, so if we go up here to the edit menu, I don't know if you noticed this before when we were up there, but we have a object type, right? And again, the more convenient way is just the letter O in the same window appears. And this is where we can select the shapes, right? And we'll select the circle, the star, and then we'll hit OK. And now let's go ahead and go up to our send to cutter preview. Now you can see all the circles and stars are now are, you know are now on our little preview. Okay. Now something that you'll you'll note is there's an icon on the top of the screen uh, that will open up a menu, and uh, we'll show that here to you. So uh, at the very top of the page, you'll see this right here, and it's we have select by color, select by type, and then we even have select all. So that is the the functions there. Okay, now when it comes to the other ways, that's what we're going to get into next. All right, so the second option here is we're going to mark the shapes not to be cut uh, from the objects tab uh, with the page thumbnail viewer. And uh, for this, uh, you know, if you don't see uh, see where this is at, it's because we need to scroll on over uh, to the very far right and uh, click on this little arrow right here that's on the page. And then you'll see the page tab and then you'll see the object tab. So we're in the object tab and you can click on the object there. And then right here is the little icon that makes it cuttable and not cuttable. So uh, let's go ahead and remove the arrow. And you can see that if we even uh, go up here to the cut, uh, send a cutter, uh, the arrow is gone. Um, another thing that you will notice as well is if I select the arrow and you know try to cut it, it uh, gives me a thing saying nothing to cut. So um, make sure that you are aware of that. Okay, and then we'll get into the last way here to uh, to select what you want to send out there to your cutter. 
And uh, this is actually going to be controlled from the cutting menu itself. And I think this one's probably the easiest way, if especially if we're going to be cutting by color. And uh, with nothing selected, just go up here, right here, go up to send a cutter. And then we'll notice a little check mark here that says uh, separate by color. So if we click on that, we're going to notice a drop down menu. So if I want the black items to be cut, red items, or the blue. And then you also uh, have this one up here, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can select the room this way as well. Okay, so those are the, the three ways uh, to go ahead and control what you are sending to your cutter so that you can cut exactly what you want. So you have the selection, you can have selection by object, and then you can just tell it not to cut, and then you have this one right here. Okay, so lots of ways for you to uh, tell your cutter what you actually want to cut. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care.